Something's Open is sponsored by Deline Flooring. From inspiration to installation, they'll be with you every step of the way. Well, a local potter is making more than just bowls, mugs, and ornaments. She's also making an impact on her community. Channel 3's Caitlin Francis takes us to Birch Mountain Pottery for today's Something's Open. Susan Gare's business, Birch Mountain Pottery, has been a community staple in Tolland for more than 35 years. And it was something she dreamed about as a child. When I was 10 years old, my mom took me to Sturbridge Village mm -hmm. and I saw the potter working there and I went, that's it. Over the years, many of her students and customers have become more like friends. I remember when we had the big recession 10 years ago and I thought, oh, it's going to be not right, very good here economically. It was actually better because people wanted to support their local p businesses and that's what I'm finding now too, you know. Um, they want to keep me here, so they're going <laughs> to keep coming. Due to the pandemic, Gare was forced to close the shop for a few months, but started Tailgate Pickup, her pickup truck version of curbside pickup. She worked on some custom orders and posted sale items online. Now she's slowly welcoming students back by keeping them all distanced and at their own stations. She says potters tend to wash their hands a lot to get clay off anyway. You have to prepare it by doing what's called wedging. She's finding new partnerships with other local businesses like at farm stands. We all kind of help each other. So I approached them and they were more than happy to start selling some of my work there. And I found it so wonderful to sort of combine with the local farmers um, who I, my heart's in that place anyways, and this just was even better. So that's helped. What's also helped, she's shift her focus to bring her customers more unique pieces like thank you ornaments and her favorite mugs. And then my last step will be to take a wire and just cut it. There's nothing more I feel personal because you pick it up first thing in the morning, you know, it fits your hand. And it's so funny, I do an event called Mug Day. I make 200 mugs and they're all different, little ones, big ones, and people come in and they try them on and they find that one that just speaks to them, right? And fits their hands. So that's a very personal item, I think. Personal and creative, just like the art of pottery itself. For Something's Open in Tolland, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.